Hey everyone, Dave here. Welcome to Intercosmos 2000 Overview. Apparently it's a sequel of the first project or something. It is a thing on Quest. Sometimes we're getting things that were not here before and then we're expected to know what's gonna be going on. Usually I would try to play the prequel before jumping into the second game. Here the gameplay seems kinda self-explanatory so I think we should be fine. It seems simple enough. So Intercosmos 2000 comes across as an escape room type of simulator where you're put in a realistic space capsule and orbit around the world and trying to survive. I'm mostly getting vibes of I expect you to die from it. Interaction based panel with many controls, funny ish voiceover and storyline with no manual at all. It's kinda bad to say it looks like copy paste of many mechanics we've seen so far in VR. It seems something rather unique for the store, it's just those games just tend to cater to one specific community of players, which is all fine. However, I don't really see much originality from it, just looking by the trailer. The gameplay might change that of course but it's just the excitement level is very mediocre for me. Let's go to space, for some reason. <laughs> oh my god, why it's so small? <laughs> Cadet, you are now ready to face the final step of becoming an astronaut. What is even going on with the graphics? Like pixels are literally attacking my eyes. Also I don't like this <laughs> helmet. First, you need to get used to those bulky gloves. Notice the blue handles around. You can grab them and pull or push yourself in order to change the position on the spaceship. Now pull yourself towards the computer. Grab the wrench in front of you. <laughs> we were like on the line. Something's going on because when I see through the lenses, it's like artifacts attacking me, pixels, like, it's just not even comfortable to look at. The wrench. Okay. <laughs> well, grab it. Good. The wrench might be needed if something breaks. You can attach it to one of the stickers to keep it from flying around. To what? I'm just kind of confused at the direction of the hands. Like it's not working well at all. Okay. <laughs> stickers. What? Oh my god, I can't even look at it. It's that bad. <laughs> Am I stupid? The computer in front can be powered on with the bottom left button. The column of buttons on the left changes the computer mode. For now, switch to prog mode to display the currently loaded program. The bottom row has different options depending on the selected computer mode. Let's press the next button in order to proceed. On the left side of the computer, you will find a radio. That's where my voice comes from. Listen to it carefully. Your survival may depend on your correct understanding of orders. If you forgot the last command, push the button on the radio to hear it again. If you forgot the last command, push the button on the radio to hear it again. <laughs> Is this a joke? Like, you know, I, I get it, but... If you forgot the last command, push the just kidding. That's it. Right. Look around. You should see a data pad. Grab it. All I see is like... Ugh, my eyes just get tired. <laughs> what if I actually can grab it? The data pad is a device that should help if you forget what to do. It always displays the checklist for the current procedure. Notice stickers above the screen. 
stick the data pad to it to keep it from flying around. Free floating objects can be dangerous in space, so keep your ship tidy. Remember, the data pad will always help you figure out next steps, so you won't get lost in space. When ready to proceed, hit the next button on the computer. <laughs> What's going on? We will train the life support system. As you can imagine, it is crucial. If you don't know how to support life on your capsule, you may cease to live. <laughs> but don't worry, this is a training scenario. It means everything is simulated. It is not possible for you to die. The alarm panel above your head will warn and then alarm you if something with the life support or power is wrong. Here is a simulation. You can press the master alarm button to disable the sound of the alarm. That will be fine for now. But remember in real life situations, this won't make the problem go away. You'll need to fix it. The life support system is located on the right hand side of the cabin. Your breathing produces CO2. At high concentrations, it is toxic, so you need to filter it out from the cabin air. The current filter is unfortunately full and needs to be replaced. You will find a spare filter in one of the drawers. Take it and plug it in the filter slot. Good job. We will now regenerate the spent filter. Grab it and move to the middle of the cabin. Put the spent filter in the filter regenerator slot. Then pull the red handle next to it. It's like very hit and miss with the interactions. Like I'm kind of confused why. I can't even... Dude... Oh my god. Put the spent filter in the filter regenerator slot. Then pull the red handle next to it. I'm getting sweaty by just... <laughs> doing stuff here. It's like, you have to press for a long time and then kinda... Navigate the hand on it? No, there's no logic in it, okay. Why am I even trying? Put the spent filter in the filter regenerate. Great! After regeneration, a filter is ready to be reused. You don't want to find yourself without a clean filter. Let's get back to the front of the cabin. Push next on the computer to continue. I'm good, like... I'm actually just tired <laughs> from the gameplay. It's absolutely not for me. In terms of just being curious what's going on with the buttons and stuff, no. That's not at all for me. On the technical aspect, it's... Oh my god, it's like horrible. You won't see it in the footage because that's not how it works, but essentially, artifacts are like pixels that kind of like scattered around the lens and then attacking you, literally. Whenever you move your head, it does not matter where you look at, it's just kind of one side, especially like the right eye, is affected by it. When I close my left eye, it's fine. My right is just completely not okay. <laughs> Interactions are... I don't know if you can say it wonky because they're very inconsistent. Sometimes it can be easy and sometimes it's just a nightmare. This is the first stage of the tutorial. I can't even pass that while not being like uncomfortable. <laughs> is it too much? <laughs> so I'm basically just gonna judge the game on the performance aspect and this is not it, chief. I just want to leave VR, honestly. <laughs> like it's, it's too much.